Hey guys and welcome to a new by design. I'm just going to be doing another guide here today on Shadow of Mordor and it's going to be for one of the Legend of the Sword Urfail missions here. This particular one is going to be for Arise. I've done one on the Red Tide and that one is pretty difficult. This uh, Arise one here is a lot easier to do, do and really all you have to do is like it says right there, you have to fend off uh, Uric Ambush, and in the process of it, you have to kill uh, 40 of them. So the first thing I like to do is get rid of the guys with shields. Uh, just because it's a lot easier if you can. You can see I ended up blowing a lot of my focus there, trying to get myself oriented with the first shield guy there. And as a result, I ended up taking, uh, I can only get one shot on a um, on one of the shield guys, and there is two. So, I mean, really all you have to do for the shield guys is just hit the X button to jump over them, and then you can kind of do a semi-stun here. Um, at at this point, you probably unlock some abilities, I'm guessing. So you can see right here, I'm going to end up using my multi-kill ability, which is pretty cool because it is a very quick way to do the multiple slays here. You can see I'm just slaying through them, all one shots while you're doing it. You can't really take any damage or anything like that because everybody kind of waits for you to slay them, which is kind of a bit weird that they actually play the game like this and make it so that you have an ability that lasts 20 seconds. You get unlimited kills and nobody can actually do anything to you. But that said, because of how cool it is, I'm totally okay with it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun to do. And it makes for some pretty, well... Not boring gameplay, we'll call it. Not terribly interesting gameplay, but not super boring gameplay. Um, you can see when I did it here, it was kind of it was dark, so you're going to see the gameplay is a little bit dark in this. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's, I'm recording it in 1080p on my Elgato here, and the PlayStation's from the or the gameplay, sorry, is from the PlayStation 4. So you can see here the graphics aren't too bad. Once you start to take a little bit damage, you kind of get the red, which is kind of nice. I mean. It's nice to know if you're taking damage and you're about to die, but at the same time, you can see how it kind of clouds everything around it, and that's kind of annoying. You can see right here, I take a big swing that I probably shouldn't have, but I kind of like these cutscenes that they do here. You can you can get a pretty cool cutscene when you um, get it into the center, and the first time you go down, it's actually pretty easy to recover from, and you get a really cool cutscene out of it. Like I say, I like the cutscene, I enjoy it, um, and it is pretty cool. It doesn't make for the best uh, bragging rights, I guess, but it is a pretty cool cutscene. So you can see right now, I'm just going to kind of speed this up, and I'm going to do the kills a lot faster now. And to do that, I'm going to be doing the Wraith Smash. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that pretty quickly here, just because it's getting kind of tedious, I'm sure, for you guys to watch this. And it's a lot faster to just do it. So you can see what we're going to keep on doing here is just we're going to keep on building up our uh, building up our multi-hit combo, then we're going to do Wraith Smash. And you can see how fast it actually just plows through these guys here. So once you get it going again, you can see right now that went from 22 kills to 31 kills like in a couple seconds, and that's definitely the fastest way. So if you guys are wanting to do this fa the fast way, not necessarily the cool way, I would just recommend just doing these Wraith Smash on the ground here. You can see we're already up to 37, um, and the last couple seconds was basically all that. So you can see right there, we ended up getting the 40, and it wasn't that difficult. Didn't get the bonus, but that's okay. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful at all, please click the like button. It helps me an awful lot when you do. Also, if you guys have a moment, if you can click that bright yellow subscribe button in the center here, that'll notify you every time I publish another video. Thanks for watching.